Well, I'm waiting for this little switch engine to back all them auto racks down where I can get across. There's an automobile plant not far from here, so they're always dragging them up and putting them back. There's no way in hell I'm going to go walk up the staircase with all my gear and go across that bridge to the Burger King on the other side. I'm so dang hungry right now I could eat, eat a daggum horse. But here's a little quick fill. Little gas station. There's another market about this far on the other side of that overpass. That's where I geared up. I got some candy bars and package of hot dogs and some bread and uh, some fruit shoes. But yeah, as soon as this guy gets across, I guess I should start walking now, go to Burger King. By the time I get my gear, he'll be clear the path. Well, made it across. Burger King's just right there. My other one's faded away. Thing is, on these aluminum boxes, tags wear away quick. They're putting up with that blustery wind again. Man, that sumac gr growing crazy this year. Oh, that what? That wasn't dog man. Tony did that. All right, yeah, Burger King just right there. Time to eat. Yeah. Let's see what Sandy Drawers brought me. I haven't eaten a Whopper in years. I just remember they used to be so dang watery and like liquid mayonnaise or something, but they always tasted good. Out of all the fast food joints, I always thought Burger King hamburgers look the best. Yeah. Oh yeah. Six dollars for a damn hamburger. Ain't got no teeth. Hard to chew them onions and pickles. What beat candy bars and chicka sticks? First thing I've eaten since yesterday. I 
I just got on that train ill prepared. I didn't have enough food or water when I got on. I knew I couldn't make it all the way to Chicago what I had. Then that water bottle of mine got a hole in the bottom from the vibration of the train under the bottle. It does that in these cheap bottles. That's why I put duct tape around the bottom. I'm going to have to do that one too. Matter of fact, put a couple of X's each way and then one around the base. It keeps holes from poking in the bottom. And in the winter time, it's even worse. Because if your water freezes partially, you set that down and you can set it down on felt and you put a hole in it. Okay, he's backing in all the rats. There used to be an old camp of mine back across that dam right there. I think that sumac will help keep me hid a little bit. Yeah, you can hear the carbon dioxide bleeding off. Hear that? Those are carbon dioxide cars. They got a valve to equalize the pressure. If it goes up, they just pollute the atmosphere more. Nah. You can even got like cushion suspension. With that tank rocks back and forth. It's kind of like baffles. It keeps it from swaying too much. The liquid inside. So those kind of counteract the sideways rocking motion. Sometimes if it's cold out, you'll see that carbon dioxide coming out. That one's the only one doing it. Yeah, this is that train that had the carbon dioxide cars on it. I'm not sure if he's going out or going to back up. I'll fix it as he'll, yeah, he'll be backing him back. I couldn't tell if it was a local leaving out or not. Shit. Ah, I didn't even see that one pull in. Dang, I don't know how long he's sitting there. Dang, I wish I was geared up. I'd go grab that grainer. I don't know how long he's going to be there, though. Let me see if I should... Well, no. 
if that was the end of the train they're fixing to back it down another track then there's going to be a yard worker a switchman down there unless nah that's what he's doing there wasn't no EOTC if I ran over and tried to get on that train now that worker would see me I don't want to I don't want to chance it I didn't even see it pull in I must have been eating that whopper whopper that boxcar probably open on the other side it'd be hard to get on on that other side with the Broadway over there to all the people getting off work Well oh, I just heard two horns boom boom that means departure it might be that train right there getting ready to pull man is that a turtle alligator in buffalo oh that's wind yeah, I noticed with some of the rides I'm having, the audio is really messed up. It really doesn't sound all that horrible as you've been hearing the last few videos. I think it's this microphone is so overwhelmed with frequencies that it just dazzles out away. Oh, it used to be a well, there is in Laurel, Montana. There are little irrigation ditch like this. Back in the day, I used to get off the train at night. I'd fall in that thing every time. Because you could see the grocery store across from the railroad yard. And you think it's just an even walk in the dark. And that thing's like eight foot deep as soon as you step one foot off into it. It's like an irrigation canal, the one in Laurel. I wonder how many times it's happened here. Ugh. I can't see if there's a worker down there or not. I see a light. You know they got these cameras so good now that they still ain't found a way to keep that sound out of the microphone they just put some cotton or something or round that little hole off where the microphone is and the wind wouldn't go spinning over the top of it causing turbulence just round it over goldenrod I think I can't remember what that's called, but I think it's goldenrod. Oh, God. Phew. All right, well, I finally made it to the point where I don't have to go down anymore. Uh, the next next westbound that comes in, I'll, if there's any rides, I'll be on it. See behind me?